Hello, my friends. Welcome to Dave Skillet. Got a special today. I'm going to make some hamburgers. I'm going to make some patties, form them up, and then freeze them. Except, oops, except one. One we're going to have for lunch. Yeah, I've got some onion rolls, which are really good. And we'll just get to it. It's a, a special blend. Here we go. These are the store ingredients. We've got some 80-20 hamburger. And I got some beef chorizo, Supremo brand. And what we're gonna do is blend them together, right? Now, I'm going to use an onion because I want to chop up some onion, dice it up, and put it in with the burger and the chorizo. I'm going to use one of these tubes of chorizo, and it's going to blend into one pound of hamburger. So these are 13-ounce um, package, so 7 ounces of chorizo, or 6.5 ounces if you want to get technical, to one pound of um, hamburger meat. Now, if you want to use a different uh, blend of hamburger, go right ahead. If you don't like 8020, use the one you like, the one you like the best. But I think a hamburger has to have a little bit of fat in it for flavor, right? There. Now I've said it. Now I'm going to do it. And um, I think I'm going to use my blender to mix it all up so I'm not squishing it with my hands which I don't want to do. I want it fluffy, so I'm going to do it with the uh, mixer and take it from there. I'll be back. Now that's what it looks like when I've got it all broke up and ready for the blender. And I got to let it sit on the countertop for a little bit because that meat wasn't completely thawed out. I had it in the fridge down below overnight, but it didn't thaw out 100%. I didn't think it would. So I'm going to let it sit out here for about an hour, and then I'll take it over to the blender. We'll be back. So we'll give it a go right now. See if that won't blend up. <laughs> Wrong lever. I can do it with my hands, but then my hands will get all greasy and it takes a while to wash all that off. But I can tell you, this isn't the first time I've done it with the uh, chorizo and the beef. I made some. All I can tell you is those hamburgers are excellent. And there's more. It's only take about a minute or so. You'll know just by eyeballing it anyway. Take a look. Oops. <gasps> Come off of there. Okay. It looks like it's pretty much done. Um, it's not all crushed like it's been compacted or whatever. Yeah, yeah, they're mixed. It's mixed in there real good. So we can take that off. Put that in the dishwasher. It's coming out cleaner that way. Now, now we can make our hamburger patties. You know, I haven't even thought I could even make meatballs and put it in some uh, spaghetti. <sighs> yeah, that would be good. Now, I've, I've made some um, biscuits and gravy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I used one patty 
of that. All I can tell you is, dang, it was good. Okay, it was a little bit of a brownie color because of the chorizo. But who cares? Close your eyes, put some blindfolds on, dig in and have a spoonful. You're going to like it. No, you're going to love it. This is what I'm talking about. One patty like that and my biscuits and gravy. Yeah. I used coconut milk, by the way. Because why? My sister is lactose intolerant. This, the chorizo and all that, and using the coconut milk, well, that's plant-based. Coconut milk is plant-based. It's not animal. It's plant. Winner, winner. Gravy and biscuits for dinner. So let me tell you, <laughs> who saw that coming? I'm going to make some more of that tomorrow morning. That'll be my next recipe, by the way. In case you weren't wondering about that, heads up I've been giving you here for the last minute. Um, that's what it's going to be. We'll be right back. So we're going to put the onion in it. I probably should have put that in when I was doing the blending trick. Ah, well. It happens. That's my meatball maker. <laughs> Baskin Robbins ice cream scoop. They used to sell those once upon a time. Try to find one now. Good luck with that. So use whatever ice cream scooper you got. I've got a couple of them. I got the squishy kind. Those work good, but they don't make a very big meatball. They're kind of small. But these work really good. Okay, that's... I'll do the rest with my hands, pretty much. Okay, so I need to make meatballs. Put some olive oil on my hand, not a whole lot. There we go, just like that. That's so things don't stick to you, because they will. It's just too much. Okay, now we get them onions pressed into the meat. About, about that size, that's good. Right on top of the um, plastic. And I cover that over. I gotta wash my hands, otherwise, they're gonna be all greasy. Yeah, it works okay, but eh. I gotta make my uh, meatballs in advance before I press them, I think. So I'll get a plate and just meatball up. And where's my squeezer? There it is. We just make the hamburger shape. There we go. Good enough. It's not quite perfect, but hey, you know what? It'll work. These are great in the freezer. Ziploc bags, just like that. Zip it shut, and that goes in the freezer. Can't lose. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just make the meatballs. That way, I only have to do this one time. Uh,
There's one. How many you get depends on how big you make the meatballs. If you make them big, well then you're not gonna have as many. That's okay. I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna put some of these in some spaghetti. I'm gonna make some meatballs and spaghetti. And then, um, yeah, that ought to be pretty good. But I got, um, I'll freeze that patty. And then tomorrow, when I make my um, biscuits and gravy, I'll take that. In fact, I'll just put that in the fridge. I won't freeze it. I'll just put it in the fridge. And tomorrow morning, that's going to go in the mix for my biscuits and gravy. Now, I know some people couldn't use hamburger, some just plain hamburger, or you can just use pork, ground pork, whatever. But I did this one day just because I didn't have any. But I had uh, a whole bag full of this stuff, and I was like, okay, let's improvise. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do on the, on the fly. It worked out so good. I was like, why have I not been doing this? I told my sister, why have I not been doing this for year, years and years? Because, dang. And those onions, I don't have enough burger to make another meatball. So I'm going to just fry them up and then uh, put them in my hamburger. I'm going to add this to that smaller one. Got one that was just tad bit too small. So we'll do that. Let's see if I can get the rest of those little burger bits and add that to it. That's just looking too good. Now it's a proper meatball. Yep. So now I got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight meatballs in one patty. So that's what it, that's what it does. So eight meatballs later. Gosh, that's looking good. It smells real good. Put that chorizo mix in with it and then blending it with the, the mixer. Oh my gosh. You could use a meat grinder, but okay. That's just a lot of extra parts I gotta clean if I do that. But it can be done. Probably come out real, real good obviously since using the paddle worked out real good um yeah i'm impressed Woohoo! who knew huh okay this i'm gonna make a hamburger i did say i was gonna make a hamburger so i'm gonna stick with that and make my hamburger these guys they're gonna go in the freezer because i'm gonna make some Meatballs and gravy. Yep. There we go. Now. Yeah, you can freeze them more than once. And since I mixed them up real good, heck yeah. Because tomorrow... In fact, I'll just put them in the, free, in the fridge down below because tomorrow I am making spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, instead of freezing that one, I just fry it up and put those onions on it. When those burgers or meatballs freeze up, I'll probably just put them in baggies. Or no, they're not freezing those up, am I? 
forgetting what I'm doing. Okay. But we are going to fry that up. Yeah, I can fry them up right now. It's almost 1230. It's almost lunchy time anyway. Okay. I like to make them on the thin side. Look at that. Hey, that works. That works. See, it's going to shrink. And because it's going to shrink, I make them real big like that so that they're going to be normal in size when it's done, right? So, we'll stop here. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of olive oil to this pan and some butter because that's how I do my onions and my burgers. That's enough. Not too much, not too little. Now I can already taste what this is going to be like. Okay, let this get going. And grill these onions real nice because they're going to go on the bun. And since it's an onion bun, I'm going to fry the onion bun right up in here just as soon as these onions are done. I got these from a local uh, shop here in town. Fairly. Nice. Don't microwave them. It ruins them. Don't do it. Don't. Don't. It's the only way you can do it. I'm going to show you how you do it. Because some people nuke their buns to get them warmed up. I'm like, oh my gosh. You just ruined them. Pull those out of the way. Gotta cut the, gotta cut the bun. Okay, we cut the bun and put it right in the fry pan. Now I need a spoon. I didn't even use the ice cream scoop really. <laughs> oh yeah, those are those are looking nice. And this is making me hungry because you know when you're just watching it, I can watch these videos all night long, people doing this, but when you're doing it and you get to smell the smells of food cooking, phew. That's it. You're hungry now. <clears throat> How we doing here? Oh shoot, I'm starting to burn my bun there. Yikes, okay. I'm gonna fry that one to death. I'm gonna do a Gordon Ramsay on it. He burns toast, by the way. 
So there's that. So I don't feel bad whenever I post one up just a little bit on the mark. Like, yeah, okay. I could just throw that one in the bin, but gosh darn it, those taste too good to throw away. Now, I'm going to take those onions I just fished out, and they're going to go back in the, in the pool. i to put a little more of that in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a hunger hiccup. Look at that. Woo! Dang it. Wow! I gotta turn this off. Because it's enough heat on the electric skillet to do it, to do the rest of it. It takes a while for it to actually cool down. So we'll do that. Really making me hungry. Need a little bit of ketchup. Not a lot. Just a drop. I'm thinking about putting some cheese on it, but I don't think I will. Just gonna go with the burger and onions. Oh man. I can't even tell you how, how good this smells. Oh man. Yeah, it's making me want to go outside. And fire up the charcoal. Yeah. I don't want to be out in the heat. It's supposed to be a hot day today. So I'm not do that today. 90 something? Yeah, that's too hot. 90's too hot for me. Once it passes 85, yeah, I don't like that. We didn't waste any of the onion. This would have, you know, that was the time I would have just threw it away. But you know, I don't want to do that. Because so that's flavor time. It and put it on the bun somehow <laughs> it didn't want to go it didn't want to go there now ketchup gotta have mm -hmm. wow check that out 100% and then we just flip it right on top of those onions Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Forgive me with all the sound effects that I am about to make. Wow. God bless my hamburger. And for all that I am going to take. Oh man. Woo. Look at that. Look at that. Beauty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See, it don't matter what you put on it. You can put nothing on it. And because you got chorizo in the meat, oh my gosh, that is so good. Oh, I prefer the beef chorizo because it's beef I'm putting it in. Uh, you could get the pork, but I think the beef is better. Either one's going to work. It's up to you, because you're the master chef of your kitchen. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you, you can taste the chorizo. You really can. And by putting it in the, the mixer like that, oh, my God, it is 100% mixed throughout. I did it once by hand, 
it was not a very good result. It was like patchy all over it. You know what I mean? And I was like, nah. Mmm. That's good. That's a burger. I'm mad because I could have been doing that 30 years ago. Wow. All those poolside barbecues, can you imagine? Yeah, my friends would have liked that. Probably would have had to do both, but who cares? They'd have been hitting these. And then that's all I would have been doing. Mm-hmm. I gotta eat these onions. They're good. Oh man, no salt. You didn't put. You didn't see me put any salt on that burger. I didn't even put pepper on it. Don't need it. Wow. Hmm. I was hungry. I ain't getting so hungry now. Hmm. Oh boy, let me tell you. I'm gonna be happy now. Mm. Sister, you gotta make that. <laughs> if you're watching, you're missing it. Oh man. I told her I was gonna do this today. Yep. Mmm. I suppose it doesn't matter what chorizo brand you use or what meat you buy. I bought that from Walmart. That's not a plug for them, believe me. I would have bought it in a local store if they'd have had it on sale. But it's been about a month since they had it on sale for $1.99. Can you imagine? Wow. But it wasn't 80 20. So I only bought two of them. Oh my God. That is so good. <laughs> Get out your hamburger buns. Mm hmm. It is so good. I can't even describe that to you. And, and the hamburger bun. Oh my. Get those onion bur those onion buns. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Unless you don't like onion, in which case you get to omit the onions throughout my recipe because you don't like them. Wow. <laughs> well, okay. That's us for today. I clean my plate. Bon appetit, my friends. Dig in.